Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for our Sagittarians, okay? So Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as a Sagittarius, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? Let us go ahead and get into this reading, you guys. Let us see what the message or messages are for you, what it is that Spirit or your higher self has to say. Let us see, guys. Let's check it out. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius, please? Thank you so much, Spirit, in advance. Use me, Spirit, as an instrument. Let your will be done. What is it that you have for Sagittarius today? Let us see. Let us see, Spirit. What are the messages for Sagittarius? messages for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, we got First Chakra, Archangel Michael, a lot of stability, talking about what you own. So, a lot of the second house, okay, your assets, what it is that belongs to you, all right, your sense of security, well-being here in the physical realm, all right. Let us see, messages for Sag, what do we have here? We got adjacent possibilities in reverse. Some of you guys may have been feeling stuck when it comes to getting yourself out of something, okay? You may have been praying, asking for guidance, okay? I also hear asking for forgiveness. Some of you feel like uh, you're being punished is what I'm hearing, okay? For something that you did in the past. It's not true, okay? It's just how you feel. It's the thought that I hear some of you having, all right? You're dealing with a broken heart right now. Um, you feel like you keep trying to heal yourself emotionally, okay? But you feel like it's not happening, okay? You feel like no matter what you do, you're just not happy. You keep trying to fill your life with meaning, meaningless things or meaningless um, occasions. But it seems to you like you're just not happy overall no matter what you do. Okay, that's just how you feel. Let us see what's going on here. We have door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. Yeah, to confirm what I just said. Okay, so when it comes to how you feel overall, you're not happy right now. All right, you feel like you're searching to find joy in ways that is just not happening for you. Okay, the best way that I can explain it right now, we have door to value at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like when it comes to opportunities um, involving finances, once again, uh, stability you have that on lock you got that on smash but when it comes to your emotions when it comes to how you feel no you're not happy at all okay so let us see i'm kind of getting what they say when they're like you know money doesn't buy happiness that's the message here money doesn't buy happiness you have a lot of money things are coming your way swiftly when it comes to that but when it comes to your joy and just you feel in love for yourself or anything like that you're struggling with it right now, okay? And I'm praying for you guys that things will get better, okay? Let's pray for all of the Sagittarians out there who are going through this, even if it's not your story. Pray for your brother and sister, okay? What do we have here? Sudden wealth, see? So the money is great. The money is uh, excellent, okay? Excellent day is what I just heard. We got 777 here, divine number of a portal. So there's an opening here when it comes to your finances, okay? Some of you are actually going to win um, when it comes to betting or gambling or something like that, okay? Yeah, you were going through a rough time. When it comes to finances, you're going to come across meeting the right person or you're going to come across that right opportunity and it's going to stabilize you financially. Okay, so at least that's going on for you, right? And then we have here, privileged lady. It's going to change your life. Some of you are also going to be buying a new car when you get this um, this payment. Okay, get this money, get this money. All right, let us see messages for Sagittarius spirit, please. What are the messages? Push these glasses up. For our Sagittarians. What are the messages? Take your time is what I'm hearing from Spirit. One step at a time. Something you took your time with is about to pay off as well. Could, is what it could mean. Okay. 31 once again for stabilizing yourself. Completing a cycle when it comes to your finances. Okay. But there's a lot of healing that needs to take place with the heart chakra. Okay, in order for you to ascend in the way that you want to. Okay, so we have here 10 of Gabriel. Some of you have been working really hard. Like I said, this is the reward for your hard work. 
Okay, it says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Some of you may not be feeling like you're getting the recognition from people who matter the most, okay? And it's never really going to be like that is what I'm hearing. You're going to get support and praise and reward from everybody that you possibly don't know or have an estranged relationship with from years ago. But the people around you right now, they may not celebrate your victories in the way you expected them to, okay? But peace nevertheless and also this is the death card okay traditionally in tarot so i feel like some of you have a broken heart connected to losing someone that you love you know them transitioning into the spirit world is how i'm getting it it says release the past there is a more enriching future coming let go and let god okay but this is definitely um something that could be associated with death like physical death okay for some of you and we have seven of gabriel here so for this to be number seven on the door to personal healing and happiness and this to be a seven as well 77 so there's a lot of sevens for you guys 777 seven, seven. that seems to be your number your lucky number right now okay stand up for what you believe in have confidence and claim your personal power okay Underline of energy, three of aerial in reverse. This could be a lack of cooperation from family members. Once again, like I said, lack of support that you feel from the people that are closest to you. But overall, when it comes to um, you moving forward, that's happening. Whatever has you stuck or anchored down in one place, you're freeing yourself and going towards the destiny that is meant for you. So we see that, right? We see that something is coming to an end. Once again, with that death energy. All right. So for 10, 10 to be there. There's a new beginning. Like I said, a cycle completing, a new one beginning. You may have people around you you never thought were going to be around you. The Spirit is saying these are the people that are meant to be there, okay? Hmm. So I'm hearing that in this instance, that blood may not be stronger than water or thicker than water, okay? You're finding out who your true family is, who your true friends are, things like that, okay, is what's coming through. And we have another 10. Yeah, 10 of Michael. So the end of that, all right, says so the situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. A lot with putting the past behind you and standing up for what you believe in and going after the life that you want. OK, so that's just what I feel for you guys. Let us pull you one more just because that's the energy that I'm in right now with the Sag. Let us see what spell you guys are under right now. Brand new beginning here for you. Beautiful. Okay. Let us see. We have safe travel. Okay. So once again, with this traveling, with this moving forward, not staying stuck in one spot. It says, keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Yeah. So some of you are actually traveling. Okay. So you're safe while traveling is what Spirit is saying. If you were worried, this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.